So next node is particle speed and what the document says particle speed output the current speed each particle is traveling measured in the unreal unit per second. So it gives you the velocity of particle the speed of particle and depending on how much speed they have you can do anything with the particles and that you can already do in the Niagara without using this node. So let's say uh, and here in the example you can see the setup so if i use that setup uh, for a different thing so like if i divide it and by dividing to change the velocity target velocity okay so i'll make the dynamic parameter and this is my well speed and depending on that if i have two colors like i have red and i have green so I want one color should be appear where the velocity is very low and one should where the velocity is high. So let's connect this here. Now if I take the Niagara and use that material here in the Niagara, that it come. So you can see all have the green color, but if I take the dynamic parameter and increase this. So it will lower the speed that so you can see some are becoming red and i have to increase it like till 800 to make it sure uh, the colors are differentiate each other because i have maximum velocity 800 okay so now if i just make this even simpler like uh, i have 100 velocity i don't have gravity i have the same life and i don't have this so I have this thing and let's uh, let's also use the drag so I use the curve till 0.5 the drag is 0 but at the 0.6 drag is 1 and I can also increase it from here so now you can see if I make it like 100 because we have just 100 velocity see so when particle are stopping because of the drag they are becoming red otherwise they are red, uh, sorry green and you can also use it in effect like this so if you have a point velocity and like you have the 180 and then you have instead of this you have spawn burst maybe 100 so when they are stopping they are becoming red or you can do the different thing like initial they are red and they are stopping they becoming black so they becoming so initially they are green so initially they should be like orangish like a fire and at the end they should be like black like explosion or anything okay so now you can see these becoming darker when they are stopping you can use make it like 20 so they are becoming exact black see yeah and now you understand how it works it it takes the velocity and depending on that it it changes like if the velocity is lower than that so do this if higher than that do this and you can do the same thing in the niagara so i'll show you that also so we are not using these things we have just the simple color let's save this so now we have the white particles so i'll delete the scale and take the color and take the LERP and we have the red and the green and see we can change the color so here I'll take the vector length and then connect the velocity it's too bright so you can multiply the velocity so I'll take the velocity again and then I'll make this float the multiplier if I make it point 0.1 you can see changing the color so initial color is green so you can make that orange and then you can make this black okay so this is how you can also change the color so this node is clear now so that's it i hope you liked it. thanks for watching keep learning Bye -bye.